Hello, my name is Carl Brongi. Uh, today is Thursday, April 4th, and it is the spring 2024 semester. This is Criminal Justice Technology, and today I'm going to be uh, going over fugitives in Florida and finding them on the internet. So I'm just going to start off by going over here to Offender Search. Now I'm going to come down here to absconder slash fugitive information search. I'm going to uncheck these boxes so that I only see the photos. And then, as you can see, each offender has their own photo. It, uh, it also lists um, their number, their race, their gender, um, the termination date, their date of birth. So it has a lot of information that is already visible when just scrolling through and viewing different people. I am going to go with Misty D. Eldridge. Uh, we see here date of birth and current location is unknown. It says this right here. She was caught with possession of methamphetamine, possession of methamphetamine, and then possession of a controlled substance or something else. So what we could do to look her up on the internet, so we're just gonna take her name, open a new tab, And not going to allow and boom, have some information coming from her. We have Facebook profiles that we could possibly find. The main one that is calling my name is this Nashville.gov gives us a little bit of information. So these must be all of her cases. And the Howard Gentry Criminal Court in Metropolitan Nashville, with her last one being in 2014. There's also one right here. That's a report of 4424. So that was, um, that's actually today. Um, so. This is a report from today, gives us her Misty Dawn, exact date of birth. See that the date of births over here and then over here are the same. Uh, we could also go and look at June 6, 2022. Um, Okay, so here it shows Misty again. I, we could tell that that's her because you can see the tattoo right above the top of her chest and then that tattoo by her eye. And if we go back over, we could see that same tattoo right here and then that tattoo right below her, uh, what would be her right eye. So you could see that there. Okay, we're frozen for a second. Um, so a rollover crash in ten Tennessee. Uh, it gives that her crime report is still updated, so she's still committing crimes. Um, and then, like I said, you we can match that picture with her on any picture that we find on the internet based off of the tattoo and other things. We see here another, this must be the same rollover crash. Yes, it's the same crash. So you could find that she was involved in a crash recently within the last two years. And there's also a current report on her from Tennessee 
that's at least listed until today at uh, 11 14 so that is today so this is just an updated report of her constantly updated report of her uh gives exactly you know case details dates times everything that when is she committed these crimes in, in with specific districts.